last season ended with looked like the end of the world. Scully was looking up towards a UFO. There was some kind of pandemic sweeping the world. Mulder was dying. So those were the big questions that needed to be answered. And I think we have a really interesting, dramatic solution. One of the best things about doing The X-Files is it allows you to do so many different things. It allows you to tell good dramatic stories, funny stories, poignant stories, and Hello? scary stories. Could be the end of the world, and then we could be doing a Darren Morgan episode. Mulder, I've been trying your cell all day. I was out squatching, Bigfoot hunting, had my phone turned off. We're doing 10 this year as opposed to six the last time, and I think doing six was difficult because we had to reintroduce the characters. It feels more like quintessential X-Files this season. We're better set up to get back to the partnership and the banter that comes with that. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever is remaining, even if improbable, must be the truth. No sugar, Sherlock. People ask me, why is the X-Files successful? I think it's a simple answer. David and Jillian's chemistry is ridiculous. Why do you operate so well with your hands cuffed behind your back? Just if you didn't know. I spent a lot of time standing across from them on scenes, and it's a treat to be able to do that again. Obviously, we have years and years of working together, so there's a lot of history. That's kind of what you use as an actor. If you don't have a history, you have to make one up. The truth still lies in the X-Files, Mulder. Both of us have the luxury with one another of not having to do that. When I look at her on screen, it's like I'm looking at an old friend, and that works. <laughs> you still got some scoot in your boot. Let's you boot you out of here. In David's face, you see Mulder. He still exists in his mannerisms and his essence. I think David's having a lot of fun with Mulder this season. You know who I am? I'm Fox freaking Mulder, you punks! <laughs> Feels like he's enjoying being in Mulder's shoes. The juxtaposition between Mulder's belief and Scully's skepticism, it's not as black and white as it used to be, but she always is going to come back to science. I have to find our son, Mulder. You need him, and I need you. Through the course of the series, Mulder and Scully, who had a platonic relationship, ended up having what we presume to be a romantic relationship. They have a child together, given up for adoption to protect him. This season, we learned so much about William and his abilities to to the degree that he is a wonderful mystery. You made me promise to hide your son. I know I'm asking you to break that promise. Mulder's life may depend on it. There's a character, Jeffrey Spender, the son of the cigarette smoking man, the villain in our series. And that would make him Mulder's half brother because it is believed that Mulder is also the son of the cigarette smoking man. We learned some interesting things this season about the cigarette smoking man, and I think those will be shocking. Mulder will be coming for me. If he finds me, he'll kill me. But we are not to be found. This show has always had a deep state feel that people are talking about all the time now. You know, that there's kind of an ongoing government within the government. You don't understand what's about to happen. These are obscenely powerful people, not elected in any way. And those are our villains. Those have always been our villains. I'm asking you to betray the whole human race. Do you mind if I smoke? You really get off on this, don't you? You're gonna find out a whole lot more about Skinner. You do get some of his backstory and find out who he is, why he is the way he is, and Chris and his writers have created stories that are just absolutely amazing. Don't get in. We need your help, Walter, even if we don't trust you. How did we get here? There is definitely a hiccup in the relationship between Mulder Scully and Skinner, and whether or not that is resolved is to be seen. We're not asking for you to get us out of this, but we do expect your help. We need to see the X-Files. We want to save humanity. You want to see blood in the streets. What are the elements of Scully that are quintessentially Scully that are not inappropriate to somebody who is older? Mulder, sometimes I think the world is going to hell. The only two people who can save it. The world is going to hell, Scully. What is driving this character? You know, it's a guy who's happy to be back doing the work that he did. He's back doing the X Files. Right, let's do it again. Let's do it again.